moment and um, and share with us some of your funniest or strangest ministry experiences. And that could be at home, on the road, or anywhere in between. Oh, Lord. Uh, I have heard some pretty crazy uh, prayer requests and some pretty wild testimonies. So, in fact, I'll tell you a testimony. Can I tell you one I heard about? Yeah, sure. yeah my brother's church. This guy, the, the godliest man in his church, most prayerful man, most respected man in the church, stood up and he testified one night. He said, you know, church, I've come to realize that God cares about the little things in life. For example, this morning, my wife and I were fishing. He was retired. My wife and I were fishing, but we weren't fishing for recreation. We were fishing for food. And he said, I've been born and raised around this lake. I know where every fishing hole is in the lake. I wasn't catching anything. We fished for hours. So I just bowed my head and I said, Lord, you made this lake. You made the fish in the lake. You know where the fish are. Lead us to the fish. He said, as soon as I got done praying, one word came to mind. Damn. <laughs> and the church just <laughs> recoiled. <laughs> he said, so I started up the motor. We went over to the dam. And we started catching fish right and left. So, you know, the Lord just cares about the simple things. What a blessing that was to that service. Oh, my goodness. What a, one word comes to mind. Yeah. Praise God. And I barely got under the water, and the shower cap comes completely over her face, and she's looking at me through about six inches of water. Are you going to drown me so I can go straight to heaven now, or what's going to happen? Well, other than receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit for the first time when I was nine years old. Sorry. <laughs> I'm glad that that tickled your funny bone there, Matt. We, yeah, we might need to. You can re-question re that if you want to. <laughs> Get it together, everybody. <laughs>